When a fintech company becomes a target for a cyber attack, there's more than just finances at stake. A successful attack will irrevocably damage a company's relationships with its customers, ruin trust, and break compliance with security standards. Therefore, maintaining high cybersecurity standards is paramount for any participant in the fintech market. Here we will look at the how to maintain cybersecurity in fintech companies. Before, please like and share the video, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell icon for more updates. In this video, we're going to take a look at the main cybersecurity threats that endanger fintech companies, the most important regulations and policies to comply with, and consider some practices for implementing banking custom software to enhance a company's levels of security. First, let's take a look at legal regulations and policies that define the shape of the modern fintech cybersecurity context. Fintech Policies and Regulations While there are common practices in the global fintech legislation, the exact regulations a company would need to comply with still depend heavily on the company's country of origin. Let's focus on more widespread regulations that are most likely to be used for compliance. EITIS This regulation is used in European Union countries, EITIS stands for Electronic Identification and Trust Services. The main goal of this regulation is to help solve complications in the legal field which arise during electronic border crossing for all kinds of financial institutions and private users. GDPR While GDPR is considered another European set of regulations, it is widely used all over the world, any financial cooperation with European companies or end users requires compliance with it. A short for General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR covers e-payments and provides an additional level of data security and performance in banking. There are some notable overlaps between GDPR and Payment Service Providers Directive 2 or PSD2, and certain legislative problems might arise if your activity is subjected to compliance with both, as stated in a research by Deloitte. PSD2 this set of regulations is a revamped iteration of the original Payment Service Providers Directive and has the main goal of enhancing the competition in the world of electronic payments and encouraging the creation of new electronic means of payment. FCA In the UK financial activities are regulated by FCA or Financial Conduct Authority. The main goal of FCA is to protect the end user and enhance the overall level of market safety. If you want to start a fintech project in the UK you'd need to register with the FCA too. GPG 13 Practicing somewhat more strict regulations and laws, GPG 13, or the Good Practice Guide regulates the activities of those financial institutions which are cooperating with the United Kingdom's government. Relations with state affairs, of course, leave their mark on GPG 13, and as a result, it includes quite detailed and heavy regulations aimed at cybersecurity and preventing intrusions. APPI If you want to cooperate with Japanese financial institutions from abroad as well, you need to make sure that your activities comply with the Act on the Protection of Personal Information or APPI. This set of regulations deals with the protection of the private information of Japanese residents. PIPA Due to its complicated relationships with its closest neighbor, South Korea has some of the more harsh regulation laws in the world. PIPA or the Personal Information Protection Act can cause not only administrative responsibility but a criminal liability as well if violated. PCI DSS Wherever a fintech company is located, if it deals with credit cards, it would require compliance with the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard or PCI DSS. In particular, if a company wants to provide services for Visa or MasterCard, PCI DSS validation is mandatory. This regulation set is somewhat flexible, providing four levels of standards depending on the number of transactions a company conducts annually. ISO IEC 27001 A set of policies used in fintech to ensure data protection. ISO, IEC 27001 helps fintech establishments protect the information used in their service providing, covering access control, cryptography, and many other aspects. All these regulations were not created just for the sake of bureaucracy, the fintech sector is full of cybersecurity threats. Please don't wait to ask in your comments section if you have any other queries. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Please like and share the video, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell icon for more updates.